To draw yourself in Tim Burton's style, I've designed this helpful handout of sample features for you. We're going to start nice and lightly in pencil. We will add the head, neck, and shoulders. Remember, Tim Burton's characters have rather large heads and eyes. No matter which style you choose, make sure that you're drawing them quite large. Noses are typically small in size. Depending on the type that you choose, mouths can be either small or large. You can add one or two ears, eyebrows, or other details. When you're adding hair, start by outlining the general shape working on sections at a time. Tim Burton's characters are famous for having dark circles under their eyes. So I'm lightly shading with pencil and then I'm blending it softly with the side of my pinky. You can blend shadows in other parts of the face too. Next, retrace all of your lines with a sharp black colored pencil. A fine tip Sharpie can also work for this process. My hair is bright yellow, so I wanted to add this color to make it look more like me. This style doesn't have a lot of bright colors though, so if you do add color, overlay it with black. It will really tone it down a lot.
your shading should match the direction of the hair. It helps to look at yourself in a picture or mirror to see how your hair generally flows. Remember, it's always best to start color pencil lightly and then gradually build up the darker values. To wrap this all up, you can shade and rub with the side of a black crayon or pencil to create more of a vignette or a border around your portrait. And we are done. This was a Hammer Time production. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.